What's up, y'all? This is Marcus, and I'm back to do Chrissy and Mr. Jones um, Season 2, Episode 1. Now, at first, I wasn't going to do this review because I was like, this review probably is not going to be as um, detailed as my Preachers of L.A. and my Love and Hip Hop. Because, um, I mean, the show was only 30 minutes, and it really wasn't giving me much this episode. So, I'm going to ride it out maybe two, one, or two, one or two more episodes to see what it does. But this first episode was, you know, like I said, it wasn't giving much. But, you know, they basically was talking about um, Jim Jones' son, Pootie. Now, I don't know what his real name is. He goes by Pootie. But he came to live with them for the summer. And they're basically just trying to figure out how they're going to adjust, you know, how they're going to try, how they're going to adjust to having a child in the house. Because, you know, it's been just them two and that that uh, dog. Um, you know, they talk about, you know, basically, and she's like, you know, this basically, to a certain extent, she kind of like, this is your son, so it's going to be your job to take care of him. You know, she said, you know, he's in summer camp or something. So, she's like, you're going to have to wake up and take him to summer camp. But, you know, the next day, she ended up having to wake him up because Jim wouldn't get up. So, she had to wake him up and get him, you know, and feed him and all that good stuff. The second, you know, and then eventually, um, Jim Jones and Pootie, they're outside planting flowers. And he's basically telling Pootie, like, you're going to have to step up while you live in here. You're not, this just not going to be just playtime. You're going to have to do some chores. You're going to have to put, get, you put yourself to work while you're here. So then they start basically talking about, you know, different things around the house he can do to keep, basically, keep Chrissy from flying off the handle. Keep Chrissy from going crazy. You know, you basically, like, if you see something that needs to be fixed, you see something that's dirty, see something that needs to be done, do it. Don't wait for nobody to tell you. Don't wait for Chrissy to, you know... You know, we trying to keep her from going crazy. So it's kind of like he basically makes it seem like Chrissy is a little bit crazy. You know, he say like, you know, if you see a light bulb that's out, try to fix it. First of all, the boy ain't but ten years old. Why, why he? Why is he fixing light bulbs? Me anyway. Um, you know, flush the toilet. You know, because I think you know sometimes men when they don't flush, a lot of times they don't flush the toilet when they pee, and that I mean that's just so unsanitary to me. You know. I mean, cause I mean, cause I mean, cause you know, I I'm not gonna go there, but that's just disgusting to me. Some people feel like it's okay as long as if you didn't, you know, do the number two. But that's still no, that's still nasty. Cause if it sit long enough, that'll start to smell just like if it, you know. But anyway, I'm not going to go there. But he say, flush the toilet. You know, put the toilet seat down. Of course, you have to do that when you got women in the house. But then at the same time, it's kind of like first of all, don't women look down? Look, don't women look before they sit? I mean, you ought to. I mean. I, I never understood that, you know, you say put the toilet seat down because you got women in the house, but I'm thinking to myself, like, I ain't never known no woman that just go in the bathroom and just plop down. Most time, women actually, you know, they look look to see if the seat is down, I would think, but I don't know. But I guess each person, each household is ran differently. But anyway, you know, vacuum, this and that and the other. So, the next day... She gets up, Jim, of course, Jim doesn't wake up again, so she gets up to wake him up, but he's already up, he's downstairs fixing breakfast, and she's like, you know, what is you, you know, she was kind of proud of him, you know, like, wow, you know, so he basically tell, tell her about what him and Jim talked about the day before, you know, she was kind of not here for it, especially when he brought up the thing about the light bulb, and she was like, why are you, why is he, how are you going to reach the light bulb, how, I don't know how high their ceilings are, but, you know, she was like, how are you going to reach the light bulb? And she was saying, basically saying that like all the stuff that he was telling Pooh to do, that stuff that she had told him to do. So it's kind of like, so he basically passing on his chores to the son. But I mean, if the son is living there, he need to do something instead of going to summer camp and just laying around all day. I mean, I'm just saying. Um, I was not uh, Mama Jones and Freddie. I'm not here for that that fake flirting or whatever. I don't know. It's like it's like they re it's like they I don't know. I think they did. You know, there was a rumor going out that he slept with Mama Jones. You know, he was saying that they was in the elevator, and he and she told him to pull out his, you know what, and he, I don't know, but I think I think they I think they did sleep together. It's just the way they was acting. It's like they was they was flirting, but then it's kind of like they was trying not to flirt, trying not to flirt too hard. You know, like they like they trying to ride this thing out. Like like Mona Scott was like, y'all better act like y'all don't want each other. I know y'all done slept together, but act like y'all don't want each other. So y'all could, you know, we trying to get this paper. But, like I said in my, uh, my other review, look, Mona Scott is a pimp. Mona Scott is pimping everybody on them shows. But I'm just not here for that fake flirt. And I don't know what it is about old men, I mean young men that be wanting older women. Or older women that want, well I know why older women want a younger man. But I don't know why a younger man wants an older woman. I'm just not here for it. Um, 
I mean, like I said, it really wasn't much to this episode. I'm actually interested to see what goes on. You know, there's an issue. Um, you know, Chrissy is still, I think, working on, like, them coats or something. And, you know, she gets to the point where she wants to be in control of everything. Because I think Jim is putting his hands in a lot, you know. And so, you know, she's kind of getting to the point where she wants creative control. She wants to be able to say what to put on there and what not to put on there. What she wanted to say and what not to say. You know, she was having a discussion with Mama Khalifa. That's Wiz Khalifa Mama. I think her name is Deb. Because she was also the woman that basically talked Rashida into firing Kirk as her manager. Um, you know, and after all that drama on see on the on last season of Atlanta, it's a good thing she did. But anyway, um, and she's basically telling her like, you know, you got to start thinking about basically like you got to start thinking about yourself, and not worried about Jim Jones, you know. But anyway, well, like I said, you know, this video is what five um look about six minutes. Like I said, I think it wasn't gonna be that long compared to my other reviews because it's only thirty minutes. So we'll see. Um. So I see what this show is giving. If you start looking and don't and stop seeing Chrissy and Missy Jones reviews, y'all know why. But anyway, I talk. I see y'all later when I come back to do my Priest of LA review. Peace.